Avicenna, known in Persian as Ibn Sina, was a polymath whose influence transcended time and geography. Born in Afshana, near Bokhara in present-day Uzbekistan, during the Samanid dynasty, he is considered one of the greatest minds of the Islamic Golden Age. Avicenna's works, particularly in medicine, philosophy, and science, bridged the ancient world and the emerging European Renaissance, shaping the intellectual landscape of both the Islamic and Western traditions. Avicenna was born into a Persian family of scholars and administrators. His father, a respected official, ensured his son received an excellent education. By the age of 10, Avicenna had memorized the Quran and mastered basic sciences, including mathematics, astronomy, and logic. His exceptional intellect caught the attention of scholars in Bokhara, where he delved deeper into subjects like philosophy and medicine. By 16, he had surpassed his teachers, gaining renown as a physician by curing the emir of Bokhara of a severe illness. This early success granted him access to the royal library, further fueling his intellectual growth. In his youth, Avicenna also studied music and poetry, which complemented his scientific and philosophical pursuits. His early exposure to various disciplines allowed him to approach knowledge holistically, setting the stage for his interdisciplinary contributions later in life. Avicenna's most enduring legacy is his medical encyclopedia, The Canon of Medicine. Written in Arabic, the canon became the definitive medical text in the Islamic world and Europe for centuries. Divided into five books, it covers topics ranging from anatomy and pharmacology to diagnostics and therapy. Avicenna introduced groundbreaking concepts such as the contagious nature of diseases, the importance of hygiene, and the use of clinical trials to test treatments. In addition to documenting over 800 medicinal substances, Avicenna's canon introduced diagnostic techniques that emphasized the holistic observation of patients. He explored the interplay of physical, psychological, and environmental factors in disease, promoting a comprehensive approach to healing. These insights were revolutionary, challenging the more fragmented medical practices of his time. Translated into Latin in the 12th century, the canon of medicine became a staple in European medical curricula. It was studied in universities like Montpellier and Bologna, laying the groundwork for modern medical practice. By the 17th century, its influence began to wane, but its methods and principles endured. In addition to medicine, Avicenna was a towering figure in philosophy. His magnum opus, The Book of Healing, is an encyclopedic treatise covering logic, metaphysics, ethics, and natural sciences. Avicenna's contributions to science were equally impressive. He advanced theories in optics, mechanics, and chemistry. His writings on geology, where he hypothesized the formation of mountains and fossils, demonstrate his keen observational skills and scientific reasoning. Despite his intellectual achievements, Avicenna's life was marked by political upheaval. The decline of the Samanid dynasty forced him to travel extensively, seeking patronage from various rulers. He served as a court physician and advisor in several regions, including Gorgon, Ray, and Isfahan. These travels exposed him to diverse cultures and intellectual traditions, enriching his works. During his years in Isfahan, Avicenna enjoyed a period of relative stability, producing some of his most important works. However, political intrigue and conflict frequently disrupted his life. He was imprisoned at least once, yet even in confinement, he continued writing prolifically. His resilience and commitment to knowledge in the face of adversity are testaments to his unyielding spirit. Avicenna's influence on medicine, philosophy, and science is unparalleled. His works remain central to Islamic and European education for centuries. In medicine, his systematic approach and emphasis on empirical observation anticipated modern practices. In philosophy, he bridged the gap between antiquity and the Renaissance, shaping the intellectual development of both worlds. The reverence for Avicenna's contributions is evident in the enduring popularity of his works, which have been translated into numerous languages and studied across generations. Institutions and landmarks worldwide bear his name, celebrating his legacy as a pioneer of human thought. Today, Avicenna is celebrated as a symbol of the rich intellectual heritage of the Islamic Golden Age. His legacy reminds us of the enduring power of knowledge and the universal quest for understanding. Thank you for watching and remember to hit the like button 
share the video, and subscribe to the channel.